Hello and welcome back to Manager 2017. I'll admit I made a little bit of a mistake. I went a game too far, so got Spurs instead of Swansea today. If you look at the table, you can see we're currently sat in 15th. We did have a good run of form, actually, after the whole game, which that's when you saw. Um, someone commented on the first video, I think the name's James Hode, or the spell is H-O-A-D, so I'm not 100% sure, but thank you very much, because you told me to play complete wing back. Yeah, complete wing-backs for my wing-backs. I did that in this City game, where we weren't meant to win at all. And, um, well, Manquillo and Oviedo both got assists, and we beat, we beat City 3-0, despite only having six shots. Now, I'm going to take that as a pretty good success. Defoe getting two and Drogba getting one. Drogba apparently played better than Defoe. So itself. So there, we went on, then we beat Everton 3-2. We were 3-0 up in this, it's still playing wing-backs. Uh... Areza scored twice and Drogba got one. Areza scored in after like 30 seconds. They didn't mount a comeback, got me a little bit worried. Then we played Newcastle in the EFL Cup, same formation, 1 0. Then we played the same formation against Middlesbrough and lost 2 1. So we changed it against Watford and we lost 2 1. Put it back to put it back when we played United, we lost 2 1. Played it against Palace and we lost 2 0. And then I think Norwich is a different formation. Um. Yeah, <laughs> we went back to a 4 3 3 against Norwich. We beat them, just. Jesus Christ, it did have me worried. And then we drew against Swansea with the same formation. Now, we play Spurs today, and this is the formation basically. This is the extremely defensive, counter attacking formation. The only issue we've got is that Lee Catamore is injured, and he was actually surprisingly vital to this formation, because he played in this role here, which I'm actually going to give to Rodwell. No, I'm not. I'm going to give it to uh, Trash. He's actually a little bit better there. I think he's actually right back, so he's got better defensive stats. Yeah. Can't pass as well, but neither can Rob well. So, yeah, it's a nice uh, free centre backs. For some reason, Dillabodgie's on a stopper just because he likes to play there. Kirkhoff's become a, a starting centre back for some reason. But, yeah, my wing backs both on complete wing back support. Then we have two box box midfielders and one ball winning midfielder which means we're effectively playing with, I don't know, eight defenders, if they both get back. And then we've got a... Uh... Now, I think that you want deep playing, and I didn't actually mean to have it there, but it works, so I'll, keep... I'll put it back to that. So you've got deep playing forward in Drogba, and an advanced forward in Defoe. You could all... I could always put someone like there, but no. It's not happening. So yeah, Spurs. Now, the likelihood of us beating Spurs... Is uh, pretty slim. I'm sure the board of this video is actually cutting a little bit off. Much better, but I could have been cutting the board off the other video as well. Right, so, yeah, it's been woeful. That, that is true. We're coming off a draw. At least at the point. Uh, yeah, I'd predict an away win for Spurs as well. I mean, everyone's predicting an away win for Spurs. Yeah. The only issue with this formation is we're so counter attacking. I think I showed you the uh, instructions. We're highly structured on counter, we're deeper, we're balanced. We're exploiting the flanks, we're pumping it into box, we're sticking to his positions, tighter marking, more disciplined. Yeah. Very defensive, basically. Very, very defensive. But the only issue is if we concede first, we do kind of get screwed over. Because if we concede first, I'm not really sure what to do. I haven't got that far into thinking. I didn't go for a Spurs team, but their only addition to their team is Loan, I think, who they always sign. Now, don't score this early. God. Don't get me that worried. Concerning me already. Right. Oh, fuck. Ah, four minutes in. See, this position. We don't get much possession in this tactic. Unless it's the Everton game where we seem to dominate possession. Which would be really odd. This formation can... Uh, we are obviously invite pressure on. It's a counter-attacking tactic. That's what you do, and just hope to God that you can defend, which is what I'm doing right now. Sorry to have a quick pause then, but um, yeah, bookings become an issue. Oh god, there's gonna be a chance for them because Drogba can't run. Lamella, Deli Ali, oh god, so that's a good ball. Let's cut his open kick. Oh no. Now, this is where the problem comes. We, oh god, it's gonna get worse and worse as it goes on. Trust me, this tactic did work. 
it's very hard to believe because we've not had any shots at all and we're playing dreadfully trust me it did work in two games and then died off thing yeah i'm not gonna be able to keep playing this tactic am i um We'll change things up again. So these two around. The only issue is when I change thing, I have to completely change on my lineup. Uh, Watmore's gonna come on that wing. Barini's gonna have to come on the left. I just took Kazri off my bench. Fair enough. Right. Let's see if we can have a bit of a change up here. Change of formation. See if we can get a shot. Because this still is this still is a counter-attacking tactic. This is a strange way to start a highlight. Um. Well, what can I say? Change a tactic. But I should just always play this tactic, really. We, that's, we've had one shot on target. Duncan Watmore's actually got three goals this season. I think he's only played three games. I'm not complaining. We were, uh, we're drawing now, and we're actually having more at all. We've had two shots. That's more than we had last half. Obviously, because we came to second half with zero shots. We are not making passes, though. Granted, they're not making that many. About a hundred difference in it. I've only got one. No, I'm not going to make that, that third sub. We are winning headers, though. We've got a corner. Oh my god. Got Kirchhoff's first goal. Hmm. Kirchhoff. I don't know. Come Kirchhoff. How the fuck are we winning? Oh shit. <laughs> Um. Uh, hmm. Great. Well, Defoe's injured. That's not good. That's really bad, to be honest. Oh, he is. He's a top goal scorer. Uh, what more do you fancy playing up front for us this season? I, I don't like injuries when they get subbed off instantly. If they like build up to it, like if it goes the uh, orange and then goes red, I can usually like. You know, not get too upset. But when it's a straight up sub, how the fuck have we won this game? We've had six shots. I... This just proves that that fight about it's it, it's just mm. it looks like that fight about formation rate don't work now. Trust me, it worked against what he um yeah city. Yeah, what more? He came on at half time. Great good rating. Oh, he's played seven games. I forgot to count. He's played. He's actually played seven games and scored five goals. Jesus Christ! That's more, oh, unless you count Vanarama, Vanarama North, that's the most he's got in a season. He's actually. Uh, he seems to be an upgrade a little bit. He's still not a great player, actually. Now, I don't want to see this next message. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a very in uh, injured kicking the ball. I know he's 34, but come on, his hip's not given out at 34. Yeah, let's just, let's just, yeah, let's give him injections, he can go for six to seven months, so he can see a body specialist. Fuck off. Idiot. Goes along with my catamaran. Seb Larson is still not back. He's been gone for a while. As if I just won that fucking game. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, yeah, forgot to say. I don't know if you noticed, the Norwich game was in the quarter final of the EF EFL Cup. That was all well and good. Then we drew Wolves. Wolves, of all teams. Wolves. The only issue with that is it's you know, we can we can probably beat Wolves. Is it Chelsea or in the other uh, semi final against Derby? The odds on Derby winning that? Very slim. If you're over one leg, maybe. It's not. It's two obviously two legs. And I think Chelsea may win that by a considerable amount of goals. We can pray that we end up playing them. We've got transfer Billy Jones. Yep, see you later. There's a couple of players that are really uh, not liking me. They're, they're less got Billy Jones and Gibson. Because I don't play them, because less got's, well, what ranking of centre back is he sixth? And. Gibson dropped down because Ndong and Areza were really good. He's, yeah, 
and not going to raise her were both really good, apparently. And the fact that, yeah, right, could have a problem with injuries. What date are we? December, right. He's had two. I mean, December. It's ridiculous. Um, what am I going to come back for next? It's going to be Wolves game. It's probably going to be both of them, actually. So I'll probably play first leg, skip through these three games, then play second leg. Oh, I'm continuing my trend of getting through seasons really quickly in very short amount of videos. It's only the third video. If I do both of them, I'm going to have to probably stick a video like here, here, and here. Right, so yeah, let's come back for that Wolves game. So thanks for watching as, uh, well, incredible performance against Spurs and winning. I will see you next time.